a few days ago they unlocked the last expedition and I think most of you guys know what that means. We could finally get the Diamondback exotic rifle. Before I show gameplay of it and talk a bit about the gun, I thought I would let you know how to get it because yeah, it's really simple. So all you have to do is to do all the three expeditions and when you have finished the third one, it will unlock the chapel right here. So go to the chapel and open the boxes in there and you will get the exotic diamondback rifle from the chest. But yeah, it's not harder than that. That's how you actually get it. So let's actually dive into the gameplay when I did try the gun out and talked a bit about the talent and such. Hope you guys enjoy. Now we're on ETF now. You're in my way, dude. Reload is so slow, dude. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. Sub calls. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. Let's just shake through these talents again. Randomly marks enemies, hitting that enemy consumes the mark, guarantees a critical hit with 20 total damage. Then somebody else get marked, right? Hitting 5 marked enemies, you get 50% reload speed, 20% total damage, and all your shots are crit hits, right? Which means, yeah, you can use stack critical hit damage for this. My build doesn't have crit damage, so yeah. Each time a round is loaded, you get 20% bonus armor for 3 seconds. When holstered, each time you reload or feed your current weapon, gain 8% bonus armor. Backup request. I should just sit in cover. Because I think I have entrenched, even though you don't get too much right. If I hit him there, then I, I get the buff right, but I have to reload. It's still like too short duration though. What? Like how does he target that one when there's an NPC that close to me? Like what? Just fucking die already. <laughs> like is it completely RNG which one it chooses or what? I'm in the shit here. If I had crit damage everywhere I would just one shot everything right? Reload. Nah, I'm just gonna do this mission now, it's too late. I can get the gloves from this as well, right? That's why I thought I would play this instead of um, control point. Hostile identity. Move as a new 
fire. We need that gun fire. Point turret. Why is boom? We should have a little bit more freedom to what to shoot. I'm dead again. Because the hitbox on the turret is just not there. Wait, I have to go back? Well, it kind of sucks not having a good build for this because I should be one-shotting everything. I feel like it's way worse because I'm not doing that. Like those purples, easily one-shot if I have... If I have more crit damage, like a crit damage build. And for some, yeah, like I don't know, the, the the RNG in this doesn't work. Like, it should just target the one closest to you. Like, it just seems to be R RNG, like which one it fucking targets. It's just so dumb. The fact that it didn't change anything though, it's kind of sad. With this gun, because when I played it in BTS, I told like everything that I thought was wrong with it. And nothing changed. So why do they even have a BTS showing off the exotic weapon if they don't do any changes? I mean, it shouldn't be random, though. Why can't they just take the closest target? Because that's most likely the target you want to shoot. And if you hit all of your... If you hit all of your shots... Then, when you get the buff, you're actually reloading. And I think 6 NPCs is the max amount that will come at the same time, right? Because that's like the max that consoles can handle, probably. Which kind of makes the weapon not as good either. Because you get the buff and there's supposedly 1 or 2 NPCs left, right? The yeah, so bubble force would be nice. Spec crit damage. Like I don't think I have anything on this one. This is no. Stack armor, crit damage, bubble force. Why is he not even peeking? Usually when you look away he peeks. Damn it. The truce has turned the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. 
Yeah, every time you hit the mark target, it will swap. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. When you hit five mark targets, you get the buff. So all of your shots are crits. And you get 20% more damage as well. Which means you want to stack crit damage. You don't need a crit chance because when you get the buff, you have 100% crit chance, right? I mean, I think it's a pretty fun gun though. They could just like some more tuning to it from PTS would have been nice. So it would work better. Like it makes you play a bit different. It's just a lot of reloading when you actually get the buff. What about the full mag? If the full mag would get the buff. I don't know. Really? Like, who got even marked? And a lot of times also you get the buff when you actually killed all NPCs, right? You wanna see <laughs> and that shit gets the buff, gets the mark. Get the buff and have to reload. Yeah, that's something I talked about last time as well. That it, maybe when you get the buff, it just inst. I think that would be nice. When you get the buff, it just instantly reloads your mag to five at least. Like just full reload when you get the buff. Like it just puts you back to five bullets. But it kinda doesn't go hand in hand with the with the talent though. What is even marked? I mean, it is pretty fun gun to play though. It would be even more fun if I had a better build. So I like would one shot all the time. Like one shot that purple NPC for example. Like you see they don't have much HP left. If I had a proper build I would one shot to the head. Poison enemies. I mean, I kind of like how, how it works right now. But sure, since I have a snake, it would make sense. Optimal build for this gun? I mean, you want to have as much crit damage as possible, right? Because when you hit five, uh, five marked targets, uh, you get 100 crit chance, right? And then having a lot of armor is good as well. Because when you... When you reload right, you see that bonus armor. And then you have like... Haven't gotten the buff yet. And then you have unstoppable force as well. With entrench, for example. So that's how I would build it. High armor, unstoppable force, crit damage. You better run. Oh, what the fuck? What's that?
Let's see if we can burst the boss. I have to shoot his backpack though, right? Or that uh, red thing. I just wanted to burst his helmet, but I guess you can't do that on that one. You have to actually shoot uh, the weak point. Bam, 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 bonus armor. Can he actually kill me if I just like reload? Nice damage, bro. Needs more bullet or more damage. I think the damage will be fine, most likely, if you have a good build for it. But maybe it could have a bit more. I don't think that's the main problem, though. I, I just think... put. F what if it would put five additional bullets in it when you get the buff, right? Or it would just instantly refill it to five. That would be good, too. But I mean, I think it's fun to play with. I'll probably make another build for this. Like with crit damage and all that later. At some point. It's a fun gun. It still should work pretty good on console as well though, right? Because it's focused on crit damage, which means headshots are not too important. Yeah, we'll look later and see what pieces I have. I wonder how much more base damage it, it has to 1886. Let, let's go and check. Come over here, Agent. Take a look at what you've got. I'm gonna try how high roll that is. But I guess it have a bit higher than the normal. Yeah, it seems to have way more than the, the normal 1886 though. Accuracy damage to lead, stability, critical hit damage. Uh, it's a fun gun though. 